Hey there, this is K4A. In today's video I'm going to talk about why it is necessary for you to install Fortnite first if you want to install Unreal Editor for Fortnite and develop some games, apps, experiences, whatever you like to call them. And uh, this is a must. You need to have a Fortnite um, and I was talking a little bit about that in previous videos and uh, why this is important and how this can be a breakthrough for uh, lots of people, unfortunately, lots of developers because of some kind of uh, expectations and limitations from Fortnite and Epic Store games in terms of installations and so on. So we will check that in this video and as you can see in this thumbnail although it's blurry uh, one of the uh, the first thing which uh, strikes you is that Fortnite alone as a game will uh, take uh, around 60 gigabytes of your hard disk space and there are other expectations from your desktop computer so you will see them in seconds but uh, just this one will uh, maybe break through, uh, break away and, and uh, distract some of developers from uh, uh, third world countries or uh, people who don't have uh, space on their hard drive, even that sounds funny for, for most of the people. Uh, unfortunately, um, not all, all developers have... Um, <coughs> desktop computers which are uh, trendy and powerful and so on so uh, most of them will just give up unfortunately on this tool because they uh, cannot run it simple as that so you can even google that as i did do i need fortnite installed to run unreal editor for fortnite and the first hit will be you need to have fortnite to get uefn that's excerpts that's a part of the text from uh, official epic game store unreal editor for fortnite page where you see in first sentence you need to have fortnite to get uefn so again you need to have fortnite it's not uh, uh, um, uh, your uh, something you choose like option or uh, okay I can do it or uh, I will I will not no it's, you need to have it it's a must it's um, a rule so you need to have Fortnite that's the first thing you have to check and that's uh, it's even li linked here with the Fortnite uh, tag so you can click on it and it will take you to this page so scroll down and see first of all do you meet the expectations so you need to have uh, windows 10 at least uh, core uh, i3 and so on 8 gigabytes of ram memory and some um, they even yeah it's funny how they didn't put um, some kind of graphics graphics card uh, as uh, minimum recommended but uh, that's that makes lots of problem for for lots of people uh, the graphic cards and their um, adaptation to fortnite and vice versa most of the problems comes from that uh, drivers and stuff like that if you do not have uh, a modern graphic card you will have problem running um, Fortnite, but again, uh, this is the first step. If you cannot meet these expectations, if you cannot meet minimum system requirements for Fortnite, do not go into second step or uh, you won't be allowed. You, you will not be allowed to install this tool, editor for Fortnite, unless you have Fortnite. It makes sense, again, from a logical perspective. Okay, I want to make some kind of games or uh, modes for Fortnite so it's uh, logical that I have a Fortnite but again this beast which Fortnite is and it's becoming a really uh, powerful platform ecosystem uh, it's uh, um, 
it doesn't st stop growing. That's the whole idea which I want to talk about here and in uh, I talked about in previous videos and I will talk in future ones. Uh, these minimum system requirements change after some time they become more and more advanced and uh, powerful so now it's uh, windows 10 in a year or two it will be windows 11 and uh, 16 gigabytes instead of 8 and so on probably uh, newer graphic cards and so on so it again makes sense but for some people it's hard to follow and again this uh, game isn't for everyone yeah that's that's important to say but again it's um, I think it's interesting and, and, and needed to talk about that and to compare it to some other platforms and competition to uh, maybe Roblox and stuff like that even uh, uh, even though Fortnite and Epic Store Games uh, uh, products they are aiming at um, more powerful uh, users, more powerful gamers, AAAs, uh, AA gamers and so on but um, they want to dive in into casual gaming as you can see here with this uh, uh, lego lego um, fortnite uh, game and also these uh, uh, how it's called rocket uh, uh, cars games I, I forgot the name so it's not only now you don't have uh, now only battle royale but you have now uh, some kind of casual gaming also uh, but the installation is same even though you want to play some I don't know stupid ugly simple game puzzle game made in uh, Fortnite you will need to install whole Fortnite with, with all of these expectations so this is the first step and for most of um, lower end users in the game developers they uh, this will uh, or uh, be a turn off yeah that's what I wanted to say then after you install Fortnite even though you do not want to play it for example I don't want to play Fortnite I just want to develop my own games for it uh, okay just install the Fortnite first and as you can see here in uh, my epic games store library uh, here only two games so far on this new computer installed uh, the fortnite was the first it has 63 gigabytes so uh yeah i said 60 first it uh, when i installed it it was around 54 i think so now it's grown to 60 maybe some update who knows uh 500 hours crazy yeah that's most of that i think it's from my nephew you played uh that's another another story for another uh, another video uh, we we are now talking about this this uh, problem here okay so you have installed here uh, Fortnite then you install this guy here we will talk about in next video just because I don't want to talk too much yeah eight minutes not not so bad so far so uh this is prerequisite this is a must you must install fortnite you must install first epic games launcher and so on you must uh, register here at epic games store make account install fortnite if it works and everything works fine great then the next step is unreal editor for fortnite uh, again uh, that is something uh I think it's uh, important to divide and understand from the start because most of the people, uh, beginners, have the problems with it. Um, understanding what is what, uh, what Fortnite becomes in future. And again, I recommend all of this as learning tool which will be limited and do not push your expectations too high because you are as you can see here you are locked to their fortnite ecosystem to their fortnite game everything you make with this guy here unreal editor for fortnite will be like uh, stuck in fortnite it will be locked in fortnite which is uh, i think i still think it's uh, great for some kind of 
uh, improvement, learning, making, even making money for some people, uh, it will it would be possible for most. Uh, unfortunately, not. Um, but I think uh, <clears throat> most of uh, game developers, programmers, artists, game designers, uh, beginners, uh, gamers, they can uh, benefit from this if they can install it and run it without problem because we will see in next videos lots of problems will uh, rise up from these um, tools uh, after all and after all the time those are just tools so uh, you do not own them you do not um, control them you're just using the tools someone else made for you uh, that's it for this video see you in uh, next one. Bye for now.